Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Rights of Man expansion as the Mother Russia. Okay, so it's 1716, so we have about 100 years left in this campaign. We will be finishing up this campaign, I feel, within the next probably week or so. Uh, we just started up a new 1.19 patch on Denmark, so that's going to be awesome. Um, just to know... I, I will not be continuing this campaign in 1.19. We're actually going to hopefully finish up this campaign in 1.18, uh, which is which is what I'm in right now. So unless until the, the until the uh, 1.19 patch officially comes out, we'll be keeping the 1.19 Denmark on 1.19, and then this this Russia game will will stay on 1.18. So we will be finishing up this this uh, campaign here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and take a look at our at our realm because I actually haven't really gotten um. A kind of a big overview of what we've been up to yet so this is this is mother russia right now and um we still have quite a bit to do actually we want to most likely invade baradia uh manchu mongolia shun um probably annihilate chagatai sometime in the near future let's see we have kiva kiva has some cores on persia and delhi so we will be attacking persia and preferably delhi as well i think probably in a single war Let's see, Gazamuk is also there, but they are guaranteed by Persia, so I'm not sure. Um, we probably will will go to war because we actually do have the Imperialism cast as Bali now. So we probably will go to war. Actually, Persia won't even accept. They won't even actually accept this call to arms here. So we might we might actually invade Gazmuk. That'd be pretty cool. Poland, do we have a truce to Poland? We don't have a truce to Poland anymore. I wanted to take the rest of the Baltic. And actually, I have a nationalism cast as Bali for what I believe to be. Um, some Ukrainian culture provinces, I guess these three right here. So I was thinking about taking those and then perhaps just taking over uh, the rest of the Baltic. Um, we do have some aggressive expansion though, so perhaps our efforts would be better uh, kept in the east for a little while. I do want to see, can I vassalize Gazmuk? Um, yeah, I could. I prefer to attack, I think, Persia first. I would rather attack Persia and Delhi, get back all of these Kievan cores, and then probably just, just start working my way into the east. So I think we're going to start doing that. Kiva is disloyal at the moment, but that's okay. We will deal with that as the time comes. We do have some more exhaustion. I believe we did get out of a war recently with the Ottomans. That's right. We have a truce until 1723, so quite quite a while. Um, we actually do have quite a bit of forcement available. We actually could hire some troops. We don't have a lot of manpower, but we could hire some troops. We're making a lot of money. Um, we're not really rooting out any corruption whatsoever right now. We have full army maintenance at the moment. We make 15 decades a month from full army maintenance. We do have a problem with inflation. There is a lot of inflation going on right now. We have some pretty good advisors, though, which is kind of cool. Um, do we have any problems with institutions? It looks like we do. We're ahead on admin, and we're ahead on military. We are kind of behind in Diplo. Not too bad, though. However, this enlightenment here is, even though it is spreading out throughout my country, it's actually not here just yet. So um, that is... A problem it, it's gonna get to be a problem eventually but I, I think we can manage um at this point in the game it's in 1716 i don't know if we're ever actually going to in integrate a lot of our vassals here well lakia i would actually probably like to keep around um maybe giving them some transylvanian territory here from either poland or or somewhere else would be kind of cool and uh you know a romanian vassal who's orthodox here in this region would would make a lot of sense to me um like I said, I would love to vassalize Gazamuk, but I think with all the vassals, that, that might be a problem sometime. Um, I'll consider it. Maybe we'll, I think we will attack Persia and Delhi first, and I'll probably deal with that a little later. So we're ahead quite a bit of military tech compared to Persia and Delhi, so these wars should be fairly straightforward. Um, Delhi will join, but... Bamanis will not so we will call in um, Delhi as a co-belligerent so we'll probably be fighting some sort of you know large lines here Chakatai is actually allied with Delhi so that will be kind of cool if we're able to um, to make something happen there in fact um, if I attacked oh okay so if I if I attacked Chagatai first actually Delhi will not join their vassal of Shun will so that's my first goal actually is I think I'm going to go for I think I'm going to go for the Imperialism Castus Bali. We're going to give Samarkand, which is Kiva's core. Samarkand is right here. We're going to give that back to him. But I think the rest will actually probably will take ourselves. We'll invade Shun, take out a lot of Chagatai. 
That sounds really good. I won't need the full army. I'm going to probably grab maybe three three stacks here. They're all about equal, if I remember correctly, except for what's this stack here? The army of the Urals. Who's this guy? 22 and four. Where's his artillery? These are infantry, no cav. That's kind of weird. I guess my armies need to be reorganized a little bit. Uh, we were doing stacks at 32, 4, and 18. And our combat width is 38, so that, that sounds that sounds right. So what happened here? Um, well, in the meantime, let's actually, I guess... Because these are this is a, a 38, no, this is um, 36. Okay, so let's create a new template here. Let's do 32 inventory, no, 34 inventory, 4 cav. That's 38 in the front row, and then 18 in the back. That's that's just a template there. That's maintenance cost of 16 a month, 5,600 manpower, 56,000 manpower, 113 days to recruit a uh, field army like that. We don't have enough force limits, so we're not going to raise another another stack. So do I? Where, where are the rest of my troops here? Okay, so I guess we just have all of our troops here based in the Crimea at the moment. This is our fleet protecting trade in the Baltic, and I believe we do have merchants and such guaranteeing trade here and, and protecting trade and doing their thing. So, okay. Well, alrighty, let's move, let's go ahead and move into position to attack the Chagatai. I'd rather attack the Chagatai, and then I think I'll attack, most likely Persia, and then call in Delhi. That sounds perfect. Uh, but I am wondering what the hell happened to my armies here. I thought they were... I mean, I'm pretty sure that they, they were all organized the way that they should have been. So this is 22. This is 22,000. This is 8. There's like a random 7 stack with 16,000 artillery there. That's, that's weird. Um, okay. We three here. I need cav in this army. 3,000 cav. So there's like, there's like random stacks of 3,000 cav here. We have, um, 132 units of infantry, 16 cav, 72 artillery. So why don't we... Let's take one more, let's take one cav from here, go there, and I need infantry for this force, 25,000, that's 25,000, yeah, I don't know, that's that's super strange, we're going to move this stack to the east, 49, yeah, so how's the supply limit in most of uh, the east, it's actually okay, so let's go to, go. let's go probably to Turkestan, we're going to leave, I think, this 16,000 here, this guy's a 3, 3, and 10, holy crap, what happened to that artillery, I don't know what happened, we might have consolidated um, accidentally, not really sure. I might have to take a look at that in the future. So this is 33, 4, and 15. I need one more inventory. Holy crap. This is all cannons? This 23 stack is all cannons? No, 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 no. There we go. It was, it was a scroll down. It's messed up there. Okay, so this is, this is a 53 stack. Right, so we have 38 in the front row, 15 in the back. Okay, that's appropriate enough, I think, for this invasion. That should be fine. Uh, we're going to move him to... Uh, actually, over here. Yeah, where's the supply good? Uh, Kobdo, I think. Or Hoboskar. Hoboskar. Sounds like something from uh, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to move over two filled armies to the east. Let's go ahead and take that 50 Diplo power. I don't need the diplomatic relations, I don't think. We're going to imperialism against somebody. New Netherlands has embraced the Enlightenment. Ooh. Um, by 1750, we'll be getting probably an aspiration for liberty, so that's not going to be, that's not going to be nice. Um, side with the clergy or the boyars? I would prefer the clergy for the money, but we make a lot of money anyway. Maybe the boyars would be better because of that manpower recovery speed. Let's go ahead and seek the support of the clergy just to make them back up to, to normal. Establish a penal colony in Saka. We get local settler increase, but unrest. That sounds good to me. And then here we have inventory. We have a lot of arty here. 2,000, 30,000. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my armies. I, I don't know. Something, something strange happened. Okay. Whoa. I think my cat's going crazy. Let's 
We definitely have some naval enforcement available, although I don't I don't think I'm gonna gonna worry much. Uh, ooh, we have Oirad Separatists. Check that out. Um Let's get a new general. He's a one zero five. Wow. Let's move over against this target here. Um I'm not really being too efficient with moving my troops around though. Probably could have done better with this. Yeah, it's okay. We we have a lot of manpower anyway, it's alright. The attrition's not gonna kill us. Wow, that was a really good victory. Holy crap. So, where are the enemy forts? Um, there's nothing here. Chekatai does have 17,000 there, though, so we will have to engage that. And this is Shun. Oh, shit. Delhi will join in now. Huh. Actually, that does work out in my favor, I think. Um, well, not exactly, because I could... I could co-belligerent Delhi. I could co-belligerent Delhi. No, that doesn't exactly work. Hmm. I would have preferred to attack Chagatai without Delhi helping them. I think I might just have to go for the Persian War and attack Delhi and call in Chagatai on their own. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Damn. Because... I want to attack all three targets, but I can't co-belligerent all three in one war. Right, that's that's the problem that I encounter. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack Persia in co-belligerent Delhi. We're gonna deal with Chagatai, I think, a little later. I'd rather attack Persia and Delhi over Chagatai, as far as priority is concerned. Yeah, that should be just fine. So. Uh, ooh, British Peru. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I know Persia has quite a few troops. I think it was 80,000 the last time I checked. Holy crap. It's 126,000 men. Wow, that's actually a lot more. That's actually a lot more than I anticipated. Okay. I mean, we are ahead in military tech, though, so we're not going to have a problem beating them. But, like, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot more than I anticipated. This guy, okay, so let's take let's check, take a look at this army here. This is 32 and 16, so we need two more cav. We need two more cav, and we need four more inventory. So we should have 38 and 16 here. And then I guess these are our reserves. A 19 and a 25 stack on the western front. That sounds okay. Uh, let's go and start con uh, converting this Confucian territory here. So, I think we're just going to move in. There's a lot of force in Persia. We're going to have to get rid of Persia and Delhi. We're going to have to siege down a lot of their country. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move some troops in here. This is uh, mostly, yeah, desert and steppes here in, um, in the Scythian steppes, I guess. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be accurate. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that I think we're ready for this war. We're making a lot of money. Um, we still have the conquest of Siberia mission. Uh, yeah, we'll be. I mean, we'll be taking Siberia eventually. Not not right now, but we will do it. So yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and launch this war. Let's go and declare on Persia. We're gonna do. I think we're gonna do reconquest. We're gonna call in Delhi. It should be just fine. Our first fort is near. Uh, this is our capital, Benord. No. Is there a fort here? Oh, there is a fort. It's actually dis disabled. Okay, so we're going to march our way over there. And we're going to move this 54 stack. Let's go ahead and give this guy a general. Well, this guy could probably use... Oh, I'll give him the three shock. Move over here to Kizilkum. I don't think Kiva's going to help me out. That's okay, though. I don't think I need their help. Oh, dear. Let's go and put a force march on this guy. Let's get on out of there. We're going to siege down that stack. We're going to send in this 54,000 to invade over here. That's right. So Delhi was called in as a Bokoh belligerent. So Chagatai is going to come in. That's right. Chagatai is in here now. Damn it. And, and Chagatai is not a co belligerent. Okay. Although I think I still might siege down some of their stuff. Who knows? Ooh, we have this 53 stack over here. I forgot about these guys. Let's give them a one shock. We're going to move into Shun. And then we'll siege down most of Chagatai. Hopefully separate piece his ass. Here's some natives. Bloody natives. I think speed four is going to be fine. Wow, that was a quick siege. 
Let's go ahead and move it on here. We have a 54 stack moving to the east. Let's go ahead and invade Persia. Unless he's sending troops to the east. Looks like that's what he's doing. He's going to he's actually in Chagatai territory at the moment. Wow, look how fast that siege was, huh? Nice. Hmm. I mean, that's a lot of troops. Perhaps I don't want to underestimate the Persians. I'd rather get... In, I, I want to get into a field battle with them first before I am really certain of anything. So this is going to be steps. We're going to cross a river. We have three maneuver. He's got one maneuver. So we're actually not going to get a crossing penalty. We shouldn't get any any um, malice at all, actually, now that I think about it. Let's see how this does. 5.9 morale to his 5.5, 3.3 military tactics to his 2.7. He's, uh, we actually have equal discipline. Oh yeah, that's gonna be... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he lost a lot of men. That was, that was a pretty quick battle. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go and break that siege. I'm gonna move this army... What's the other enemy forts here? No, this is the only fort that I think belongs to Chekatai. Okay, well, let's go for, um, I think Kulab. Hmm, this one's going to be interesting here. So we have 80,000. 80,000 going to be fighting here. Can we beat them? The Great Northern Conflict. In 1697, the 15 years of old Charles VIII, or uh, Charles XII, ascended the Swedish throne. Seeing the opportunity, the Russian Tsar Peter I allied with Denmark and Poland Saxony in 1699. With British and Dutch naval assistance, Charles XII landed on Zealand and promptly defeated the Danes, then moved to Eastland. Eslin were his badly outnumbered Swedes, uh, one to five. Holy crap, what a crushing victory against the Russians. Wow, really? This was in 1708. This was during the War of the uh, Spanish Secession. And harsh winter and Russian raids decimated his army when he was finally beaten at the Battle of Potalva in 1709. Oh, so this was, yeah, this was the Great Northern War. So this was when the Swedish Empire fell forever. Um, Battle of Potalva. Wounded king escaped to the Ottomans. Russia, Hungary, so Hungary is a patient of Russia, and Russia is a patient of Hungary, Russia is a patient of Sweden. Um, Charles got killed in 1718 for the Norwegian fortress of Fredericksholm. Lost most of the Baltic Empire. Interesting. Uh, ooh, this is a bad battle, but I think we're going to win, though. Wow, we, oh, number two to one, we won against Persia. We lost a lot of men, though. That's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and reinforce that stack here for a little while. Uh, there's Delhi. We're going to siege down most of Delhi. And we're going to keep pushing into Persian territory. Holy crap, those sieges were super quick. That was really fast. I guess Karkum is a war goal. I actually forgot about that. Let's see, our colony has been struck by Roman fever. Quarantine the province, help the province, or pray for the best. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and organize a response. Manpower's dwindling. That's okay, though. Uh, wow, we are super ahead on tech now. Although, we are still paying about 18% now. It's going to get a little worse. Although, the Enlightenment is spreading, so that's kind of that's kind of cool. Um, what do we need to siege down now? Well, Chagatai, you're going to get out of here hopefully sometime in the near future. Um, wow, we are at war with, with all of that. All of that. Cool. Let's go ahead and send some troops. Hey, I have a lot of war score against you, man. Why, why, yeah, get out of here. I don't want you. Delhi. Let's see. Yeah, I think I will just peace out Chagatai here for now. I don't think I'll keep them around in this war. Because we have a lot of work to do. Let's go for Kabul. Let's go ahead and get an advisor. Um, I prefer a diplo rep would be fine. Actually, we might be doing some integrating here sometime soon. I'm not sure. Um, I imagine that is possibly likely. Where's our next target? Um, I think we're going to occupy Eastern Persia first, as well as most of Delhi. They have some border forts here, so we're going to focus on, on most of their border stuff, and then we'll go for um, the western part of the country because there's a lot of there's a lot of mountains over there. So it's going to be kind of difficult to, to occupy a lot. Our diplomatic reputation was actually sabotaged. Ooh. 
A lot of troops here. I'd love to get some easy kills. We're going to be running out of manpower here, actually, um, which might actually be more of a concern than I'm really thinking of. National unrest minus two. Ooh, that's going to help out a lot. Humanist is awesome. Uh, we have some Lithuanian separatists, but everything else has actually been kind of cleared up. Kabul. Hmm. Um, let's go ahead and let's actually attack that Persian stack here. What's our general? This is a 3-2-3-2. We should be just fine in that battle. He might attack this stack. Oh, that was a, that was a good stack wipe right there. <clears throat> yeah, Persia already kind of wants out. Um, we'll have to separate piece out Delhi for sure. They're going to be probably first priority. Let's go after this guy. Ooh, actually, uh, that's a few too many troops for my liking. Let's check a Taiwan out now. I think they do. Yeah, so war reps, an old treaties with Delhi. What about Oirat? Oirat, where are they? Oh, they're right there. Wow. Transfer trade power? No. Okay, yeah, check a Tai, get out of here, man. Okay, um... Let's try and so this is about 110,000. This is a Persian and Delian army. Ooh, that nutrition hurts. Uh, I could go for Karakum. I think that'll be a stack wipe. Uh, ooh, he actually reinforced that battle right on time. I think we will hold. No, actually, we won't. Wow. He lost a lot of men, I know that much. Uh, we will win this battle for sure. He's just, he's, he doesn't have the morale. Um, he's actually got a really nice full line of artillery. He has less cav than I do for sure. Wow, we lost 9,000 there already. We lost 27,000. Okay, so num the numbers thing is, is a problem. Holy crap. We've been taking a lot of attrition here, haven't we? <clears throat> It is the morning, so I'm not really playing too efficiently yet. <laughs> I gotta get in my grind. Let's go ahead and start converting some stuff here. So, let's make our way this way and I'm gonna occupy most of this stuff here. I need to give all this back to Kiva. Um, all of this, all of this needs to go back to Kiva, actually. Sounds good to me. Um, possibly... What's our next target, I think? Let's go for... What is this? Baltistan? Interesting. I've never heard of the place. Let's see. Money. Reinforced speed isn't going to help us out very much. Land maintenance modifier always is nice to save some cash. Uh, since I don't have any manpower to reinforce, we don't need the reinforced speed, I don't think. Land maintenance modifier should be okay. I guess we just put down some instant rebels. That was weird. This needs to go to Kiva. Uh, holy crap, look at all those troops, actually. Wow, it's a lot of men. Wow, we're actually outnumbered, technically, in the in the strength of alliances. Let's go and bring up these reserves, I think. Um, we've just we've lost a lot of manpower, so we, we're not going to have some strength for a little while. Let's give this to Kiva. Uh, let's see, how much war score do we have? Only 8%. Hmm. We're going to need quite a lot more than that. He might even take back some of these forts while we're busy sieging down stuff. Holy crap. 75,000 men are actually moving over here into the interior of the country. Yeah, this is when forts would come in handy. Let's go and merge up. I think you're in bulk. Keep sieging down Delhi, because I, I need that war score to take back the, the territory that I want. Um, there's a lot of troops up here. Yeah. Let's let's uh, go south, and we're going to make our way back up north. I'm going to go ahead and take up, I think, a defensive posturing here along this river. In the drylands. Uh, let's, let's point a general there. Whoopsies. While, we, while we're busy sieging down Delhi, I'm going to just kind of pick off some of these smaller stacks. Ryukyu's embrace the printing press. Wow. 
Let's keep a close eye on both of our stacks here. We can bring over some reinforcements. Uh, let's see, who do I want to attack? Preferably these two stacks here. Uh, I think we will, yeah, we looks like we're gonna be okay there. And let's, let's move these guys close to each other. Holy crap, we still have not taken that fort. That's only level two, isn't it? It is. We have a lot of, ca uh, a lot of artillery too. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't taken that yet. Okay, well, before this episode gets too long, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys really, really soon.